sure is coming on. Come, I'll try that again. <laughs> it sure is coming down out there. <laughs> it's a little chilly. Yeah. Well, should we watch a movie with snow in it? Yeah, I think so. What do we got here? Yo! Ah! Whoa, 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 chill out. I gotta do the intro. Well, hello, everyone, and welcome to a movie commentary thing. I'm your host, Andy. I'm chilling, Ryan. <laughs> He's chilling, Ryan, and w welcome, welcome to the show. Today, we've got the movie The Day After Tomorrow. Uh, it is a, uh, I believe, 2004. Let me check. Uh, scanning. Mm. It is. Today we're watching the 2004 film, The Day After Tomorrow. It is a Roland Emmerich directed film. You may know his work from Independence Day. Moonfall. In theaters and IMAX February 4th. Let's hit it. Cold front coming in. If you're new to the program, what we do here is watch the movie previews and all. So why don't you join us today in watching the 2004 film, The Day After Tomorrow. Oh, that's a lot of tracking. All right, Ryan, you ready? Oh, shoot. Three, two. You can't stop. Ah. You can't stop her. Yo! Don't whoa, 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 what? This, uh, uh, you're gonna elect my raw? I wore my VHS long sleeve oh, shirt. That's actually really f cool. You've just been identified by a competing agent. How are you gonna handle it, Vince Vaughn? Oh man, he was everywhere in 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 the in the noughties. Come to daddy. Come to daddy now. Hey, what are we gonna call the tens? The twenty tens? Yeah, the twenty tens. That's too long. I agree, but also like, can you call it the tens? I think we're over it. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Can we call it the tens yet? Ooh, there were like three trailers. Oh, just watch out for some peril. R.I.P. So, Ryan, have you ever seen this movie? Oh, yeah. Oh, and they tinted blue. Oh, check it out. Yeah, it's a classic, you know, disaster movie. How familiar with, like, Roland Emmerich's work are you? I literally found out before we started recording this that he did Independence Day, which I have seen. Yeah. Long as but, shit. But you didn't know that was one of the same? Didn't know it was the same guy, no. He, he did uh, 2012, which is Oh, I saw not, that. Not great. Came out in 2008, because they really had to get ahead of the curve. Yeah, they were like, we gotta get on top of this. Hype trade! <laughs> There's definitely some distinct moments that yeah. just kind of like imprint in your brain, like the part where he, there's when he puts on the snowshoes, and in the part where they go, you're gonna burn library books. Oh yeah. <laughs> and the part with the dog. Global warming can trigger a cooling trend. Ah, uh, 2004, when climate change was still very much seen as a hoax. The oh, you think so? I thought yeah. this movie was woke as shit. Yeah, the movie is. But the characters within are like, oh, climate change isn't it. real, get over it. Oh, so nothing's changed. Yeah. Our economy is every bit as fragile uh, as the Yeah, see, but like, this was science fiction back then. The coldest day on record, and now that just happens every year. Oh, this part is freaking savage. Oh, he's dead. Ooh. Oh, that's a cool shot. Not the ice! Yo! He almost biffed Yo, him. yo, yo, yo! Holy shit! Ooh! Does this happen? I'll give the movie credit. It does a pretty good job of building up momentum. Oh, yeah. I'd say so. That's five points for Woodmall. And five. Woodmall? That'd be great. I think Could this love connection plot is the uh, weakest of the movie. We gotta have a little bit of movie before it's just a disaster. Yeah. <laughs> that ice was pretty cool, though, wasn't it? Uh -huh. <laughs> Roland Emmerich's like, did you like the ice? Was it cool? <laughs> did you see those flocks of birds? <laughs> <laughs> really big hail. Doesn't look like you're coming back this week. Your wife's gonna give me an airful. <laughs> oh, man. Nothing like this has ever happened before. At least not in the last 10,000 years. What? <laughs> 
Why is one eye just half closed? They took my fucking eye. Conditions that are highly unusual uh, in California. You know it's bad when it's pink. Yeah. Oh, yo! Oh, there it goes. Oh, dang. Uh, yeah, I've seen Twister. Yo, look at all that traffic heading towards the naders. <laughs> what? <laughs> you know, like Tornator, <laughs> but without the T. Tommy! Holy oh, shit. Tommy! <laughs> Fox 11! Bye-bye, Capitol Records. Yeah, maybe get inside. Coming this fall, Haley Joel Osment is AI. Is his eyesight better today? No, no change. Oh, yeah, this old f***ing guy. Useless. Oh, no, it's a kid. I mean... <laughs> Speaking of which, I'm going to go make popcorn. Can we get mm. some pause action? Oh! My word. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby to get ourselves a treat. You want some jerky? Go take Andy's spot. Yeah, that's what I thought. Hey, man, you didn't call seat lock. Hi! <laughs> uh, let her rip. Thanks for joining. You got anything to say today, House? You got cheese like me? Weather hasn't hit the DC area, but. Yo, what is that, a nine inch CRT? Look at that little guy. Wow. What a hole. Oh, they're freezing. Yeah. Dude, when I was a kid and I saw this movie, I thought this could happen. I still think this could happen. Terrifying. Yeah, they just freeze instantly. Imagine all the carcasses they have to take care of after this thing wraps up. Or just leave them there, you know, just don't. Uh, Most stressful scene in the this movie. This part. Oh. Oh. Ah. Yo. Ah. Yo. Please stand clear of the doors. Por favor, manténganse alejado. I will come for you. Do you understand me? I will come for you. <laughs> Clip that. Tell me. He's gonna be all right. He's gonna be all right. Do you understand me? <laughs> Jesus, don't choke her out. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, one less problem. Uh. <laughs> Yo, it's a boat, dog. Where is he at? We can't evacuate. Uh, I think they're in the air. No way. He just got on an elevator. <laughs> Who's that? <laughs> no way. What is this garbage? You can't burn books. No, absolutely not. Do you want to freeze to death? Do you want to freeze to death? <laughs> Hell yeah. Wake up. Do want a big sleep. <laughs> this scene always reminds me of the AT-ATs, oh. and I can't help but feel like that's intentional. This part, oh my god. Yeah, this is the worst. Oh, that, yeah, yeah, that. Yeah. With the blood gushing out. Oh. No, Frank! Frank no! No! Uh. Frank! Splat! They didn't make it. So he's the president now? Yeah. Shit. Our economy oh, certainly ah! does suck. Oh, gosh. Yo! Eh, it doesn't look too good. Jason! Are you all right? Jason! We should find some food while we're here. But we don't have time. None of us are going to survive much longer without food, okay? Including Laura. Damn, how do you know my motivations? Uh, uh, yo! I did uh, always like the way Dennis Quaid's character reacts in this scene. Oh, that's a Wendy's. <laughs> what? <laughs> You'll see. <laughs> uh -oh. oh. That's no good. Where's the thief? Oh, there it goes. This is how it works. Oh. Uh, like, what is it? Just, like, frigid air? Yeah. How does it travel? What's keeping it right there and not where they are? I, I, go let the fire go but, out! But Dennis Quaid, he turns on the, uh, the fast food restaurant's burners. Oh, right, right, right. Oh. Uh. It's nice of the storm to make that noise to let you know it's coming. <laughs> Clean burning fuel. We're getting scattered reports that the storm 
storm is dissipating over North America. Can you confirm? Affirmative. It's finally clearing. Bro, that's, that's Italy. Italy. Ah, daddy. Does he have ABC on the side of his hat? Damn bussy. Would you say this is a movie about fatherhood? To some degree, it's not. It's definitely not like. Uh, to very few degrees. For years. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Dad is all proud. No. Brazil, back on top. Ah. Uh, all right. Oh man, look at those tiny words. You know what? Not too bad a movie. Not it's, too bad a movie at all. It's exactly like I remember it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, everyone, thank you for joining us once again for a movie commentary thing. Did you have a good time with the day after tomorrow? Let me know down in the comments down below. I, I appreciate it a lot. Uh, if you want to check out some of our others, we got a ton of others on the program. Ton of VHS, ton of nineties, eighties, two thousands, etc., etc. But until the next one, I have been Andy. Dislike, unsubscribe. Jake Chillin Hall. No, no. I'm Ryan. You've been Danny, and thank you for watching, guys. Bye. Bye. Yeah, I mean, climate change, man.